My husband and I began the process to become foster parents in the fall of 2013. Through such influences as the 111 Project, an organization based on the principle that if one church partnered with one family to foster one child, there would be no more children in a shelter. And through friends who'd begun this journey and showed us a glimpse of life of Christ-like compassion, we knew early on in our marriage that God was calling us to open our home and our hearts to children and their families in need of love, grace, and support. In February of 2014, we received the phone call that would change our lives forever. A four-year-old boy was placed in foster care and needed a safe home and family to love him, to be an advocate for him and walk alongside his family during a critical time in their lives. We answered yes, thankfully before we even thought of the implications of our yes. Sometimes simply committing to say yes to God changes the course of your life forever, and this was such a yes for us. Last year, the monthly number of children in out-of-home care, like shelters and foster homes, in the state of Oklahoma was 11,483. The number of foster homes in December of 2014 was 6,294, so you can see the need is really great. Answering yes to God is a step of faith. What we have found is that when we respond and we step in obedience to what He is calling us and some of you to do, He provides the resources and the support and the tools you need. Child Share and Ministry of the United Methodist Circle of Care is such a resource. Child Share is one of the many ministries across our state who provide resources, support, and recruitment for foster families. They are currently serving and connecting over 200 foster families across Oklahoma, 100 of those here in Oklahoma City. These resources, support groups, and trainings and equipping come from the generosity and faithfulness of the local church. All it starts with is a yes from you. In James 1.27, we are reminded that religion that God sees as pure and faultless is to look after the widows and the orphans in their distress. The church is called to live this out. We are called to live this out. For some of you, it may be a story similar to ours. You may be feeling the tug or searching for the affirmation that you are supposed to open your home and your heart to a child in the foster care system. For some of you, it is about how you can be an advocate for foster families, the children or the broken homes where the need is created. For some of you, it is your ability to provide resources to help provide the support and prayers for those who are becoming foster families. All it takes for you, like it did for us, is saying yes. Sharing God's love and bringing hope to the world, together we do make a difference.